Hi, in this video we are discuss Java tokens. Introduction A token is an individual element in a program. More than one tokens can appear in a single line separate by white spaces. Java character set A small unit of Java language are the character used to write a Java tokens. These characters are defined by the Unicode character set. A Unicode is a 16-bit character coding system and currently support more than 34,000 defined character derived from 24 languages from America, Europe, Middle East, Africa and Asia, including India. However, most of us use only the basic ASCII character, which includes letter, digits, and punctuation marks used in a normal English. Therefore, have used only ASCII character set in developing the programs. Java tokens are keywords, identifiers, operators, separators, and literals. First one is the keywords. Keywords are an essential part of a language definition. They implement specific features of the language. Java language have reserved 50 words a keyword. And these keywords combined with the operators, separators according to a syntax. From the definition of the Java language, understanding the meaning of all these words is important for Java programmers. And these are some of the keys words are here shown in the slides for, do, while, go to, if, else, in, care, byte, switch, wide, try, catch, public, protected, private, static, throws, etc. Identifiers Identifiers are names given to classes, methods, variables, objects, arrays, packages and interfaces in a program. Identifiers are the program defined tokens. They are used for naming rules for identifiers. Identifiers are formed with the alphabets, digits, underscore and dollar sign characters. The first character must be an alphabet. They can be any length. They can be case sensitive. Next one is the literals. Literals in the Java are a sequence of characters that represent constant values to be stored in the variables. Java language specific five major type of the literals. Those are integer literals, floating point literals, character literals, string literals and boolean literals. And next one is the operators. An opter, operator is a symbol which represents some operation that can be performed on the data. And there are eight type of the operators in a Java. And those are arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, increment operators, decrement operators, conditional operators, bitwise operators, and shorthand assignment operators, and special operators. And these some symbols are shown in this slide. Separators. Separators are a symbols which belong to Java language. They are used to indicate where group of codes are divided and arranged. And separators are used to inform the compiler of how things are grouped in the code. For example, items in a list are separated by commas which like list of items in a sentence. The most commonly used separators in Java is a semicolon. As you have seen, it is used to terminate the statement. And the list of operators are shown in these slides. And now we are discuss one by one. First one is a parenthesis used to enclose the arguments. And flower bracket like braces used to enclose the block of the codes. And square bracket is used for the arrays. And semicolon is used to separate the statements. And comma is used for separate the variable in the declaration. And parade is used to separate the package name of, from the sub packages and classes. Thank you for thank you for watching the video